Hello everyone, this is Lucas from Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton coming at you today from my shop storage. And as you can see, I have a pretty big shop storage. Got a car in here at the moment, gonna be doing a video on this one here in the next couple days. And uh, besides that, I got just about every tool known to man. Um, I chose a big storage over an apartment and living in the camper here just a little while ago. And that's what I'm doing this video about. I just wanted to tell everybody out there, look, if you find yourself, um, your apartment becoming more overpopulated with tools and parts and things that you just, it, you know, they're part of you. I mean, you're going to use them. You like to fix things. You're a doer like me. Some people call me a hoarder, but um, all this stuff I use. I've gotten rid of all the stuff that I don't use. And in my company, I mean, I need to have stuff like this around. If I don't have the tool to do the job, I can't do the job. So I'm not going out buying tools every time I do a job. So this is where I dump all my tools and I keep all my parts. And uh, this works really well for me. Um, in my apartment, it was terrible. I mean, I had to work out of this kiddie pool right here. I still have it. Um, I used to work out of the kiddie pool for tearing apart engines and stuff like that, just so I don't make an environmental catastrophe. Um, in here, it's a lot better. I have a lot of space to do what I do. I still don't make an environmental catastrophe, but um, it's safer and uh, yeah, I, I, all around just a better deal for me and uh, my side business and uh, just anything I want to do in here or make in here and whatever, it seems to work well for me. So if an apartment isn't working out for you and you're able to do what I did, you're probably way better off because I think with a camper and everything in to uh, sto uh, total, including this huge sto uh, storage bay that I got, this massive one, um, I think my expenses per month are only about 425 bucks and I get a lot of space because of that and I get a lot of freedom because of that. And uh, I also do have an address that I pay for for my office and all my other kind of personal stuff that I got sent to. So there's that too, but um, that was paid out through a, a yearly deal. I didn't uh, have to do it any other way. And um, yeah, it was just uh, all in all a way better deal. I got, um, I'm doing some big organizing on this shelf today. I need to make more room in here. And uh, cause I'm gonna pull this car. I was gonna go off the ground here in a couple days. So uh, actually it's gonna come off the ground today. I'm gonna jack it up today and I'm gonna see what I can do for it. And uh, yeah, so this is Lucas from Enterprise Repair and Automation Edmonton coming at you today with um, you know my story of what works for me and uh, may not work great for everyone. But like I said, if you are in the trades and you're finding that your apartment is becoming too overpopulated with tools and you like making things, um, this life here that I entered um, has been very strange, living out of the uh, truck camper and just um, doing my work here at the storage, and uh, it's been great. So if you like this video, give me the thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll definitely be back with some more, because we got the space to do 